What's up, guys? Lou here from TSA. I had a quick question, uh, something that's been asked to me a bunch of times, um, something that I've gone through myself, so I kind of know what I'm talking about with this. Um, right now, I'm probably around 205. The heaviest I've ever been in my life, uh, muscular-wise, I should say, is probably around 260, 265. Um, and the lightest I've been was 180, 185-ish, something like that. So I kind of know a thing or two about mass gaining and leaning up a little bit. Um, now, one of the things that happens with a lot of guys trainings, um, training-wise is that they want to get massive and they want to get some size. Um, what happens is their diet isn't necessarily ideally suited or well put together. So they end off eating everything and everything. And yeah, they're putting on size, but most likely it's more accumulation of fat than anything else. So um, I got a question for an uh, email question through a buddy of mine I haven't talked to him in a while, but he said he bulked up to 200 pounds, 205, and he was really, really, really happy with his strength as far as how far it went up. Um, he was working from, I think he got up from 170. So he got really strong just using the basics, um, basic patterns as, as far as deadlifting, pre uh, bench pressing, squatting, and all the different variations. But now he realizes that uh, spring and summertime's coming, he has a little bit of extra blub, and he wants to uh, to lean up a little bit. But his major concern is that he doesn't want to lose any strength. Now, this is something that I've done, and I know that um, you, you, if you start to manipulate your diet, your strength could go down because you're not appropriately setting it up ideally to, to suit your needs. Um, so the things I like to do is just add some extra extra sessions, extra things to, uh, to make things to burn more calories, period. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is basically upon waking up, say five days a week, four to five days a week, um, whatever days you want, as soon as you wake up, don't ingest anything. Maybe a, a cup of water is fine. Um, all I want you to do is go for a walk. Now, if you have a treadmill at your house, you could walk on a slight incline for 30 minutes. If you're walking outside, walk for an hour. Um, something along, along those lines. Right, close to an hour. Now, how you measure how um, hard of a pace, I don't want you huffing and puffing, but I want you to be able to basically, um, you know that point where you're doing something and you're trying to hold a conversation? You should be able to talk to somebody, but still gasping for air at the same time. But you're able to hold a conversation. But at the same time, you're still huffing and puffing. That's ideally, the, the that's your cue. That's your measurement marker right there. That's where I want you to be throughout that. Um, so do that three to four days a week. And the other thing I want you to do is start adding sprint intervals at the end of your strength sessions. So say three days a week, I want you to start adding sprints, 40, 50 yards, eight to 10 times, something like that. Um, short, minimal rest periods. I'm going to use this not, we're not doing this as speed work. We're using this as a slight conditioning tool. So you have an extra eight sessions right there, basically, um, more geared towards what you want to lean up a little bit. You should, obviously don't change your training, what you're doing. Still lift heavy, still lift, lift heavy, jump, lift for high reps, do all that. Add these extra two things. Then if most likely this, give it time, give it two or three weeks, this will work. If at all we need to play with your diet, that's when we look at that. But these are the two things that I've always added when I want to just lean up a little bit, say summertime's right around the corner. I want to lean up a little bit. This is things that I, I implement myself and my training never really stops or whatever my goal is. Um, so, for instance, you like uh, my friend told me he wanted to go from 200 to 180. Most likely, you're going to hold on to still a lot of muscle and you're going to lean up to 190 and you're going to be losing body fat. So you're going to be a lean, muscular 190, not a skinnier version of yourself 180 in a sense. You get what I'm saying? Um, so try these things out. Hopefully they've helped you like they've helped me. This is Lou from TSA. Uh, if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, just hit me up. Till later.